Hey there, my fellow designers and creatives. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome to the first video in the Lottie Files course for designers. In this video, we're gonna learn everything there is to knowing about Lottie as a concept before we actually start making Lottie animations. I'm gonna give you an overall picture of how this works, explain a lot of questions people usually have about Lottie. So let's get started. Now, this is Lottie Files website and I wanna take you through a couple of their landing pages to explain things in detail. Now, Lottie Files is a name of a company, right? That is the company that owns a plugin, which we use in After Effects and it also owns uh, the entire website and the marketplace as well, right? So basically what Lottie animations are these animations that you see over here. Now, to give you a little bit of context, right? Now, if you're a designer and you work in a company and somebody asks you for an image, you're probably going to give them a .jpg or a .png, right? It's going to be one of these. If somebody asks you for an icon, you're probably going to give them a .svg. But if somebody asks you for a Lottie animation, you're going to give them a .json file or a .lottie file. Now, what is JSON and Lottie? We're going to cover that a little bit later, right? But this is the concept. And Lottie itself is the framework on which the Lottie animations are made. Now, this framework was created by Airbnb long back. There's a lot of backstory. I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can actually check out more about how Lottie started to come about and how it be how it began to exist, but I don't want to cover about that in this video. Okay, so now as you can see, Lottie has been used by tons and tons and tons of companies all over the world. It's been it's being adapted by new companies and and being used in new apps and websites all across. Right now, the reason it was introduced was because of the biggest drawback that the traditional methods have of using GIFs or uh, MP4 videos or any other video format is the file size, right? Now, Lottie animations, as you can see over here, have a very small file size of 56 KB. GIFs have 375 KB and GIFs are also low quality compared to Lottie. Lottie is based on code and mathematical formula and that's why these are vector based and they look super crisp and super polished irrespective of the screen size, it does not pixelate, right? Now, as you can see over here, here are a couple of examples of Lottie animations. Now, what do you what do you need to pay attention to here is to understand that these are not 3D animations, right? They don't have super fancy shading effects, lighting effects, reflection. They don't exist. You can fake a 3D animation to give it like a 3D effect. As you can see over here, this pumpkin has like different shape layers to give you that effect of 3D, but it can't actually be a 3D element because these animations are based on 2D flat layers, right? So that's why 3D animations are not possible. Um, the next part is there's a lot of integration. We'll get to the integration part in a bit. Uh, but the most important thing here that you should probably check out is which are the apps that are out there in the world that have used it, right? There are a couple of case studies by the design written by the designers who work at these companies. I'm going to show you that in a bit, but it's being heavily used in a lot of apps. So this is the Lottie Files marketplace. This is where you can actually upload your Lottie animations. Um, and people can use it. This is open source, which means that people can use it for free, but they probably have to give you credits. You can also sell or buy Lottie animations over here along with the JSON file or the After Effects file if you want to. So it's sort of like a marketplace. You can come and check things out over here. Also, the most important thing, as you see over here, all of these are 2D animations, but some of them can be made to look 3D with 2D layers as well. I recently came across this app, uh, which used my Lottie animation. So if you check the description over here, you can see that they use two of my animations here, which is pretty cool and interesting. So people can use it. I've seen other platforms and other products as well using my animation. So that's uh, super interesting. The next is let's look at some of these case studies. As you can see over here, uh, these are used by a lot of companies such as Razorpay, which is an Indian company. Uh, you've got even Cred, which is an Indian company. Now, one thing I want to quickly show you is Duolingo because uh, Duolingo has a lot of animations that are 2D nature, but they give you like this 3D effect. Now, as you can see, these badges, they look 3D, but then they're actually just shape layers used to create a 3D effect, right? They aren't actually 3D animations, all right? Um, so even over here, I don't know why this isn't loading. Let me quickly uh, try to open that again. As you can see over here, all of these look 3D, but they are built on 2D layers. And finally, now let's try to understand how Lottie animations work, okay? So the first thing is that you have to create the animation. Now, there are a lot of platforms that you can use, and the most common platform is Adobe After Effects. 90% of the people use After Effects, and I'm gonna be using After Effects in this course as well. Then, once you create the animation, you wanna test your animation so that you see that it works on web, it works on Android, and it works on iOS. Now, of course, if you are designing only for website, then you can test it on the web, but if you're designing for apps, 
and websites, you probably want to check both. And I'm going to show you how to test that and ensure that your animations are correct, right? And finally, you want to hand them off to your developers. And I'm going to show you how to do that as well. And also, and then final part is where developers come in and then they implement it right now. How they implement it is not something a designer should worry about. The, there's a lot of documentation. If I come here to the code section, there's a lot of documentation here, which is specifically made for developers and they will know how to use the code base over here and the frameworks in order to make your animations, in order to put your animations inside the app. Okay. To give a little bit more insight about integrations. Um, so first one is obviously creating the animations, as I mentioned before, and there's a lot of tools out there, but creating the animation in After Effects with Lottie Files plugin is most the most popular way. And I think that's how you should do it. If you know how to use any of the apps, maybe you know how to export them as Lottie animations, but then it's important to do it in After Effects if you know how to do it. All right. Um, then, so basically you can import layers from Illustrator, from Figma, from Adobe XT, Sketch, and all of these other platforms, and you can use them on platforms like Framer X and Protopy as well. So Protopy is a prototyping tool and you can import your Lottie animations over there and test your prototypes, right? And of course, you can check them out on Webflow. You can use the Lottie animations on Webflow, on Wix, on Editor X as well and make your animations come to life, right? Um, it's also used sometimes in Google Workspaces and Microsoft 365 applications. Um, so that's also pretty cool. And of course, you've got some developer tools over here, which I'm not going to cover because I am not a developer. Uh, the other most important thing is that if you're designing for whatever platform, there's a very high chance that Lottie supports it, right? So if you're designing an app specifically for Android, you can use the code base of Android and then the Lottie framework to add that in. If you're using Swift for design, designing Apple apps, then you can do that. If you're using React Native to design apps for both Android and iOS, you can use that if you're using Flutter as well, right? So even Windows, if you're designing a Windows app, a lot of these are compatible. So basically there are no limitations as such, unless you have a very, very specific crazy requirement. Okay, so now let's go in and look at some actual examples. Okay, so here I am on Webflow's website and Webflow has actually used a couple of Lottie animations, right? I'm gonna show you one of them. So if I come down here to this section, you can see that there's some sort of an animation over here. Uh, you've got this cursor, which is, an, uh, which is a shape layer, and then you've got images as well, uh, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and right click and choose inspect element so we can actually look at this in the code. And I'm gonna come over here to the top part somewhere over here. And as you can see, they're using something called as the dot Lottie player. And this is a player that you need to integrate into your website. Again, something that your developers will take care of. So you don't really have to worry. All you have to care about is just handing them the right Lottie animation in the right size. Okay. So the other thing over here is that um, I can actually copy this uh, and download this Lottie file. As you can see it here, it says dot Lottie. And as I mentioned before, there were two file formats dot Lottie and dot JSON. And we're going to take an exam and we're going to take a look at dot JSON next. Uh, but first I'm going to finish off Webflow. Okay. So here we have dot Lottie and what you can do is you can just copy this and download it. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and open this up in a new paste this on a new browser window and it's automatically going to download the file for me. So here I have the dot Lottie file that I just downloaded. And what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to uh, open this up and let me actually make a copy of this. So I'm just going to press command V and then make a copy of this. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and change the um, uh, file format to zip file. Okay. And then I'm going to say use zip. And when I open this up, and as you can see, it creates this file for me. I'm going to open this up and you can see now we have a couple of stuff over here. So we've got all the images that were used. Now, as you can see, this was the exception that I was talking to you about where you can still use images in your Lottie animations as long as you do them right. And I have a video on that a little bit later that you can watch. Okay. Um, and it, it, it's give you, it gives you some other files that I'm not really sure I understand because I'm not a developer. Uh, but then this is basically the main JSON file which integrates everything together. So if I press spacebar on my keyboard, it sort of plays the entire animation as you can see over here. And that is super cool. Now I'm also going to show you how you will import these animations into After Effects a little bit later on in the course. So make sure to watch that as well. Okay. Now let's take a look at another example. Okay. So here I am on Apple's website, right? I never thought Apple would use it, but Apple has actually used it. So I'm going to press, just reload this page. Um, and as you can see, this animation over here is a Lottie animation. Now, how do you know that, right? So there's a plugin, uh, sorry, actually it's a Chrome extension called as Lottie Grabber. You can just search for it on Google and you should be able to get it. And when you click on that, it's going to show all the Lottie animations that are there on that website. Now I can open this, I can copy it or edit it. I'm just going to open it for now. And as you can see, this is basically the entire code 
code and this is the JSON file. I can right click and choose uh, save as and it's gonna save it to your desktop. Okay, um, the other thing is, let me uh, do it again. Let's go here in Lottie Grabber. Um, I can edit the Lottie, which is pretty neat. All right, and I'm gonna get into this Lottie editor later on in this video. It's a separate video on it, but I'm gonna cover, uh, go in detail. So make sure to watch that as well. Uh, and like I said, I'm also going to show you how to import these Lottie animations into After Effects if you want to edit it, all right. So here I have downloaded that JSON file from After Effects website. And the thing is, this is already a JSON file. Now I can't go one level deeper. So if I press spacebar, you can actually see the animation that's there over here. And I've, they've done it only for the word mini, right? Um, so the basic difference between a dot Lottie and a dot JSON is a dot Lottie can hold a lot more information and a lot more Lottie files as well which is basically more JSON files. And I'm not gonna get into that because it's gonna to get too technical and complicated and that's not relevant at the moment. But at a top level, that's the difference between a .json and a .lottie animation as well. So that's pretty much the end of this video. In the next video, we're gonna go ahead and start creating the animations. If you have any questions, requests, let me know in the comment sections down below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing, awesome content. And I'll see you guys in my next video. So till then, take care and bye-bye.